this is Laura. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I am coming to you today with another Dollar Tree haul. I've been posting just about every day with some new stuff and I do have some cooking recipes going up twice a week so please be on the lookout for those and I always post them up here on the cards in the eye above or they will be linked in the description bar below. If you are new here, welcome. I sure hope you would consider hitting that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video and you don't miss out on an episode. And if you're a regular here, thank you for coming back and spending time with me. I appreciate you. Okay guys, let's go ahead and jump on into this haul. Okay, the first thing that I found, which is just a little random laser cutout they're called laser cut craft words. This one you get three and it says family. And these are just really cute. I can't wait to start using some of these with my upcoming wreaths that I'm gonna be making. I think that's gonna be really cute for that, for the fall. And then I found some stickers. I really, really like these. These are like 3D and they're seven pieces. And they have some wording on them with some buttons. And I had never seen these before and I thought they were pretty nice. You know, they're, they have multiple layers and at the bottom you probably can't see it but they do have the little foam pop-ups. So it makes it real nice and separate layers. So I really like these. And then the last stickers that I found that I've never seen these before, they're 18 pieces chalkboard stickers. And these are of course from the Crafter Square. So I thought these were pretty nice. If you just need to mark something randomly, you know, that you just want to pull out your, your little sticker and your chalk writer that they sell there at the Dollar Tree, I thought they were nice. And there's two different shapes, these bottom ones and these top ones. And then I found this really cool sign. It says, I work with chalk, days until the big day. And look at this, guys. And it does have a little hanger up here at the top and the heart is a separate layer. And you can use this for to mark the days of a wedding coming up, a wedding, a birthday, a graduation, a, you know, just whatever. And mark the days that you're excited about or finishing school or starting school or, you know, it's endless that you can do. I thought it was pretty nice and I thought the gold detail and the writing was pretty nice. They started to put all the school stuff, school supplies back in the store. And I always take advantage of that because they always have some really cool containers. So I picked up two of these. I think these are pencil holders or marker holders. A really good secure lid. It pops open like this to the side. And it has some texture on the bottom. I don't know why they would put the texture on the bottom, but it's pretty nice. And you know, you can fit, you know, makeup brushes for traveling or any type of storage. So I thought these were pretty cool. And they had them in pink, they had them in blue and in green at my store. So these are pretty nice. And another storage item that I got is one of these SureFresh 16 cup containers. I always get these guys. I use this for, for storage, for uh, food, for all kinds of stuff. I normally at this time of the year, I'm always buying watermelon. So I cut it all up and I put it in my container, stick it in the refrigerator and it's ready to go for when you're ready to eat it. So this is a really nice size for any type of melons or storage, food storage. Okay, in the crafting section, this is from Crafter Square. This is a three piece craft funnel. So you get three pieces like they say, and there's different sizes, the large, medium, and small. I was actually doing something the other day in the kitchen and I needed a really tiny funnel and I didn't have it. And it just happened, I walked into the Dollar Tree and found it. So. You know, Dollar Tree never disappoints. Some more crafting items. I did pick up some more of the nautical jute rope. I am going to be making some of my own uh, home decor, DIY home decor, and I needed some more of this. I actually needed this darker color. They have the lighter one, but this is the color I was looking for, so I picked up two of these. And then I picked up some of these, uh, they're calling them vine balls. It is a four count. I picked up the dark one and the light one. I picked up two of the light and one of the dark. These come in really handy for vase fillers. So that's why I picked these up because I am going to be using a lot of this light color in my new decor. And then I picked up two of these vine balls in the bigger size. 
and this lighter color here, this tan color, and then this white color. And I'm going to show you the smaller one so you can see for size reference how small they are. And these are also great for vase fillers, or if you have a bowl on a coffee table, you can just use this to fill a bowl. They look really, really nice. They look really high end. I finally found some uh, fabric roses. So I picked up two packages, again in the jute color, in the medium color, tan color. Really, really nice. You get four pieces. And these are gonna come in handy for a lot of projects. So I'm getting, I'm stocking up my craft supply. Okay, I did find in their summer collection, they still had some of the summer collection. I did find these headbands. Look at how cute these are. I mean, you can't even make these for a dollar. And they do have a nice elastic band all the way around. And it is a pretty good size. And right now where I live in San Antonio, we are having our fiesta party and it's back after the second year after the pandemic. So a lot of people use these downtown and they are so much fun. And they also had it in a rose style, just like that, with bigger flowers. These are daisies and those are roses. So I thought these were pretty nice for a dollar. I can't even get over that. Like I said, you can just barely make them for a dollar. It's not even worth your time when you can just buy it and add on more stuff if you want to. So I thought these were pretty nice. Okay, and then I found, these are soap holders for the bathroom, but since these are my colors for my new decor, the black, the white, and the gray, I am actually gonna use these on my dresser to put earrings and little jewelry at night, you know, so that it doesn't mark up, scratch up your dresser. So I thought these were pretty nice for, for a dollar. And I can even use my Cricut machine and put, you know, something on here like earrings or necklace or just jewelry on there. I thought that would be pretty cute. Okay, I raided the candy section once again. I found some more gummy, the Brock gummy bears. These are going to a friend of mine that they absolutely love them, have not been able to get their hands on them. So I picked up the gummies and the worms. I hadn't seen the worms there before. These are delicious. Okay, I picked up some Haribo fruit salad. These again are just, these are soft chews, also very good. Tastes like, it tastes like cherry, grapefruit, lemon, orange, peach, and passion fruit. And they really do taste like that. They're really, really good. And then I found some of my favorite, favorite chiclet gum. Look at this, guys. I picked up four of them because they don't have them very often. So these are the canels, and they have cherry, banana, grape, and apple. So if you have never tried them, you need to try them. They're delicious. Okay, and the last, no, not the last thing yet. I picked up three bags of the soft peaches. Uh, these are always a repurchase for me. They had just put out a stock of these, so I grabbed me three of them. And yes, I like them that much. A repurchase, the Hershey's with almonds. Not much to say about that. That's always a repurchase. Okay, I did find the Pepero. This is a Korea number one brand chocolate. They're calling it a biscuit. And it is chocolate with almonds. If you haven't tried these, these are actually very unique candies and they're very good. It's like a long pretzel stick. It's covered in chocolate and then topped with almond pieces and they are really good. If you haven't tried them, give them a try. They are delicious. And the last candy purchase or gum, it's this throwback original bazooka gum. You get 10 pieces. Okay, and that was the last item for the candies and the snacks. I only picked up one item in the cleaning section, guys. I did not find the sponges I was after, but I did find a new item. This is a shiny steel, non-scratch. This is a Karazi brand, and it claims that it is ideal for stainless steel. And it is a two-in-one, and you get two, two sponges. So I'm gonna give it a try. It says ideal for cleaning stainless steel, and I have stainless steel appliances. And it says, make stainless steel shine again. So we're gonna see if they live up to their advertising here. And it is purple, it's got the soft in the back, and it's got like this textured 
part in the front. So we're gonna check these out. I had never seen them before. I will let y'all know if they're work. Okay, the beauty aisle. There wasn't a whole bunch of stuff this time. I did repurchase these bands, guys. I showed this in a previous haul. See how nice and snappy they are? They're very comfortable if you have long hair for at night. I cannot sleep with my hair loose. I have to tie it up and I don't want something stabbing me in the head or anything. I bought some of these in, on my last trip to my Dollar Tree. They are fabulous. You need to check these out, okay? I did pick up from the Goody brand. It is an economy pack of two. This is like their bonus pack in brown and black and these are clips are very very good so i picked these up i don't see these there very often so i picked up a pack of these and then look at these clips that i found i thought they were so nice these are going to be great stocking stuffers okay i found the xoxo and the bay and these are like a bobby pin clip just like that and then the girl boss and the, it says girl and then boss. So it's two different ones. I picked up two packages of those and the XOXO. Great stocking stuffers, guys, or just to put a little beauty basket together. These are so cute. And they look like really high end. They have little pearls. They look like little rhinestones, but they're real tiny pearls. Okay, I found a new pair of the Kiss Jelly Nails, and this says long, New Style Sculptured Nails. Aren't these pretty? These are really, really nice. It doesn't say, let me see if it has the glue in here. I'm not sure if it came with the glue. I can't even, no, it does not have the glue, but they did have glue and I already have some. These are pretty, pretty nice. And I like the color, a very soft mauve color. Very, very nice. Again, a great stocking stuffer for the girls. The young girls or any women in your life, I'm pretty sure they would enjoy those. I found a new shower cap. I hadn't seen these before. I'm gonna open it so we can see the size. Sometimes, for the most part, their shower caps are not very good, but they did have one open so I was able to see it. And I thought this was a pretty good size. Look at that. And I know it's gonna fit my big old head. And I really like the design. It has some really good elastic. So I thought this was pretty nice. And they had a cheetah print also in this cap. The last beauty item that I found was by the Hard Candy Cashmere Silk Demi Matte Lip Color. It is a very dark color. They only had the one shade. So I was kind of disappointed because I really don't, I personally don't wear very dark colors. I am gonna swatch it for you, but this is what it looks like out of the package. Very nice and sleek. It's a little patchy. It's not as dark as it shows on the packaging, guys. So that's the color right there. It's pretty nice, actually. And this is by Hard Candy. Okay, I did find two other shower caps. I'm gonna open these. These do not feel as thick as the first one I showed you. And this is completely all plastic. Oh wow, this one's even bigger than the last one. Look at that. And it has pineapple design. It has a really good elastic. This is a really great shower cap. Wow. And they also came in this design right here. So I thought they, these are actually very nice, guys. I'm gonna actually go back and get some more of these. When you find a product that you like at Dollar Tree, you better snag it up, get some extras, put them away, because you sometimes you'll never see it again. And that's disappointing, but that's the Dollar Tree. Okay, the party section now. I did find some new candles, at least new to my Dollar Tree, guys. Look at these. Aren't these cute? I thought these were pretty nice. And you get 12 pieces in the white. Oh yeah, there are they are different. You get 14 in this one and 12 in this one. But I really like the black with, with the gold design and the silver design on this one. These are actually pretty nice. And I did find some dinner napkins. This is only an eight piece. I'm not sure if this is the best for the book, but you know what? They are really stylish little napkins. They're very thick. They feel like cloth. 
So I picked up one of these. I'm gonna give them a try and I might just throw it into my party buckets to keep them because that's actually a really nice looking napkin and they're 15 inches by 13. Okay, and then I did find a couple of other napkins. Look at these, how cute they are. And they are 11 inches by 15 inches. And that is such a cute little design. So I keep these in my party, party box. And by the way guys, I really wanna thank y'all for whoever gives the videos a thumbs up. That really helps me out on the channel. If you're one of the ones that always gives the video a thumbs up, I thank you very much. Okay, and then I found, I know these have been around for a while, but I hadn't picked them up. 12 balloon sticks. And that's what they look like, and they're pretty long. And they come with a little attachment here for the balloon. And I know I, we could probably come up with something else to use these for, but I didn't have any. I said I better grab some before they're gone. Okay, we're coming to the last few items of this haul, guys. I hope you have been enjoying it. I did find some craft paper roll, and it is 30 inches by 15 feet. And I'm gonna be using this in a tutorial later on during uh, later in the year for some gift wrapping ideas. So I thought I'd pick it up now while they have it. And I did find two more bags. Look at these bags. The Vintagey Mickey Mouse, the legend from 1928. I thought this was pretty classic. And the last bag that I found was uh, Cruella de Vil. I thought that was pretty nice. I think they are pretty good on the details on these bags. So that was it on the bags. What I'm really excited about. Look at these new bows. Look at these colors. And they're huge. They're bigger than my hand. Look at that. They're huge. Now they did have another, an empty slot, which I'm assuming is going to be blue because that's what they always have. And they had a really dark a real funny colored green that I just did not like. So I did not pick it up, but I did pick up these. I thought these are beautiful. And you know me with my wrapping stuff. And I saved the best for last. Look at these bows. These translucent bows. How gorgeous are these? Now I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. They are completely translucent. They are beautiful. We have the green, we have the purple. Look at that, how pretty that is. We have the blue, a real pretty shade of blue too. It's almost teal. Look at that, how nice. And then the red or fuchsia pink. And that is our last item, look at how pretty. Okay guys, that was everything for the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and most importantly, share with family and friends. And I will see you on the next one. Stay tuned for my next cooking video. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.